Hi everyone, welcome back to Maze's channel and for today um tutorial I'm gonna do um braided headband or um head drop. So what we need are um I'm using this two yarn um this two yarns I believe I I used this one for my for my Fred Views um project. So I've got the orange and the silver grey and the number of the hook I'm using is number three. I don't know if you can see them. Number three, three mm, and of course the yarn needle that we need um, uh, uh, when we're putting them all together, all the strands that we've been use made, and the scissors, and of course we're because we're um, I'm gonna do the six strands. So we're going to use six pegs as well, or the clothes clips, so six of them, and we use this one. So when we're putting it together as a braided one, um, they will hold it tight, and, and we use this board as well. You can use any board or chopping board that is that can, you know, clip in, into it. So... That's all I think that we need in. Um, so we're gonna start our project. Okay. First, I'm gonna use the orange one. So, yeah, orange one. I'm gonna put this down here. And we're gonna do a chain. So, right, to do the slip stitch, there's loads of ways to do the slip stitch. But for me, I'm just gonna cross this like that. I'm gonna put it over the top and then just gonna like that there. And then pull the nut and then put this one. And then pull them. That's your. And make sure you can just slide them from your hook. Okay. So don't do it tight. We'll be sliding in there. Okay. So what you're gonna do? Don't count this one as your um as your chain because that is the um, slip stitch. So we're gonna do a chain of um. I'm gonna do 82 chains, but it depends on the size of your, you know, of your head. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm gonna meet you back and um after I finish my 82 chains. So yeah, just do put it, pull it tight. Make sure just a wee bit of space in them so you won't be, um, you know, it's not hard for you to put your hook in into that chain. So I'll meet you in, in when I'm finished with my 82 chain. So there you go. I already have my 82 chains. So on the next bit, we're going to do a double crochet in each chain. Double crochet. So, but you skip this you're gonna start in the chain number three so one two three you start in this double chain in the third stitch so you're gonna do a double crochet so I've got three loops on my on my hook so you're gonna pull this over one yarn and just take the two loops and then I've got two loops left on my hook okay so that's double double um, crochet for you so I'm going to do another one and every chain you're going to do a double um, double crochet okay so let's an take another one so the next chain will this one here here and then pull them take that one and I've got three loops in my hook and then take that over and take two loops 
on. I've got two loops left in my hoop, so I'm going to take that on. So that's your double crochet there, and take another one, and then to the next chain stitch. There you go, and take the two, and then the next one. There you go, that's your double crochet. And the next chain stitch, going over, and take the two loops, and then the last two loops. So that's you for your double crochet there. So I'm gonna meet you um into the last one and then and I'll get back to you once I'm finished in my in the last bit from there you go everyone um I just finished my first round for my 82 chains so yeah um before you go um for the second round you add one chain more before I turn it to the back one chain and then turn it to the back and then for the second round you do again as what you done in your first round so it will be double chain double crochet and each chain okay so we're gonna start in this one here double crochet I got three loops in my hook and then take the two loops and then another take it off the second loop okay so repeat what you did and um, what you did in the first round it's just the same okay and the next chain for that one stitch i've got three loops pull it over and take the two loops and then pull it over and take the last two loops it's just like that it's just the same pattern okay so you're gonna do that second round for this one it's just easy that one this is just repeatedly okay so you got 82 and um, double crochet in its change as well so i'm gonna meet you once i've finished on my 82 and um, chain double crochet for this one okay there you go guys um i'm nearly finished um with my round two Okay. How are you getting on with yours? Um, hope you're doing fine. But this is actually so easy, and because it's the, the pattern is just so pet, repetitive, and beginners can do it. Okay. With no problem at all so i'm nearly to an end and there you go and i've got three more chains to go three more stitch and second to the last and another one this should be the last one there you are and then um to do the slip stitch for this one you got chain one and be sure to leave um a longer um tail for this one because we're gonna use this um the first um strand to sew them up all together when we're doing the you know the the braided so we're gonna like that how many inches probably um long as that one okay like 12 inches probably or 14 inches that will do and we've got this one here there you go and then do your slip stitch pull this over so i'll be secure but tightly so that's our first strand of our braided finish. I'm going to make um, three strands of the orange and uh, three strands as well for the gray, silver gray. But if you choose um, only one color, um, just um, do the six strands. Um, it's entirely up to you or how many um, strands you want to do with your headband or head drop. 
So I like it to be a thicker one so it will be covered up with my ears so I can use them during the, you know, when it's cold days. So, yeah. And for the next five strands you're going to do, um, you don't need to, to leave um, a long tail for that because it's only one strand that needs to be long tail to put it together when we finish all. So, that's it. So, I'm going to meet you um, once I've finished my other five strands to do. Okay. Right, there you go guys um, it's um, it's already been in place alternate color um, so you take the second strand from your left and then put this over yeah and then under it's just basically over under over under okay there you go and then take this first one from your left and it should be going under. All right, and you just tidy it as you go along and then go under. All right, that's it. There you go. It's just basically over, under, over, under, over, under. Okay, I'm just tidying up and as you go along, so there's no spaces in between with them. It's just over, under, over, under, over, under. Right. Right, and next one here. And so this one to go under. And then under as well for that. You go along, so it won't be bubbly. And it looks complicated, but it's really not. Okay, promise. Promise you. So just go along with that.
to this one out here. It's a bit noisy. There you go. Nearly there. Nearly there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're nearly done our braided. And then the orange one we go under and over. Under and there you go. Take a wee bit of this orange yarn or whichever and cut a wee bit and take this yarn needle and so to we can sew the the one at the end to make it secure. Right, this one together.
So we have one more secure. That's the one with the end earlier when we started just sewing it. Right. Mm -hmm. That should be okay. Yeah, I'm going to do So that stays at the end as well, more secure. So, yeah, we can take the cut now. Take them off. And there you go. Ta da! We should be right there. Okay. And then we're going to put this all together, sew them up. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Okay, there you are. Gonna hide a headband. So we can sew them up. Okay. This would be still got this long one. There you go. And we're gonna sew them up. That's stick right there. So like this. I'm gonna sew this together. Okay. And one here. This is a wee bit longer. Longer than I thought. Mm -hmm. the side. Let's see. Oh. And there we go. That's your headband done. Perfect. There we go. So it will stretch. Okay. And that's all. We're done for our headband or we're gonna stretch in this one so so this has finished for our headband for this. What do you think guys? I think it's really nice, isn't it? There you go. It's really cozy this one. I love this. So that's all for today and thanks for watching and hope you you managed to follow me. It's quite, um, although it's difficult to, you know, the pattern, it's difficult. But when you're doing it, it's not really, it's just so easy. 
so yeah look at that one so there you go guys and that's all for this um tutorial and hope you did manage to follow me for this one and hope to see you next time bye